Can you put your face up closer to that again and let Hello, people goodness. know just what a mess you are? What is all? Get, get clean yourself up a little bit. What kind of? You know what, what I call is this? that? You know what I call this? You see this? Look at this. Huh? Rugged. There's clean shade, Rugged. beef. Professional. Well, look how. Look how. See this? Is how I come to work every day. I feel like I dressed up. You did. It's a black t-shirt. That's when he wears the black t-shirt. When he wears the black one. Um, I wore I, my good gym shorts today. I mean, you're a mess. <laughs> Um, I wore two socks that are the same color. Those are legs so, just dying to have scabies, by the way. I'm just coming. I've, uh, I accidentally did get exposed to the sun a little bit over the last couple days, so got a little bit of color. First time in years. I feel like it's going great. Yeah, um, <laughs> there has been a, um, a heinous crime has occurred here at 1010XL. A heinous crime? Yeah, I just, I just uncovered it. Wow! Um, I, what know, is the heinous crime? Well, it's, it's really... The files. If you, you have kids... Is, uh, law and order. Turn them away. Oh, no. Little ears. Yeah, but I mean, is this necessary? Huh? Do you see what's missing here off the Chipper Jones bobblehead? That's a heinous crime. I, also, by the way, the hands are also mutilated. I, so I, there's something going. There is either like some sort of intense. No, that was Chipper Jones hatred. Chipper or, was the victim of one of me or Dan's uh, bobblehead murders back at the old studio. During the uh, 2015 playoffs. Well, why Chipper though? Why? And look at his hands; it's grotesque. He looks like one... it looks like some sort of tree what? creature. What's the what's the, the who's the tree? In Groot. The, what's his name? Groot. 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 He doesn't look Grootish. I you know I can't speak for Dan obviously, but for me when I walked into Smash Bobblehead it was indiscriminate. I grabbed the first one. Well, shouldn't this at least be then I don't know buried or something? I you can't like just leave a, him out like that. Bury it. Like, Chipper bleeping Jones, like, man. Like like. like yeah, put him in a little casket. Like old man Parker did with his leg lamp, bury it in the yard. And put put him in a little shoebox and go <laughs> bury him out by the satellite dish. Sure. I mean, that's I Chipper Jones. Headless. Chipper effing Jones. Gro gro grotesque hands. Hall of Famer. Look, look at what you made his hand look like. Air quotes. A local crime athlete. has occurred here. A crime. He's an air quotes local athlete. You know what we didn't talk about today at all, and I find it really interesting, and I can't wait for it to happen is they've changed the rules in PGA Golf where they're going to time each individual player and not groups, and oh. they're going to put them on a clock, so they and they're going like to find them. Clock. Yes, and they're going to find them, and they're going to put, oh. uh, they're going to dock them a, a penalty stroke. So this is going to get, we are going to have some serious um, controversies and disagreements in golf this yes. year. Imagine after you've played uh, golf at a normal pace for most of the year that you get to a major. Say it's the U.S. Open, and... Um, you know what? Three weeks ago at Memphis, uh, something happened, and you were out of sorts, and you took too long, and now you're on the clock. And the next time that you take more than your allotted 40 seconds, you get a one-stroke penalty. And imagine that happens at the U.S. Open. Right. To a guy in the top five. Yeah, that's not good. Brandel Chambly is the probably the best player who plays super slow. Yeah. He's the one that um, boy does he. you got to be careful of. But... Um, I think this has the potential to give us some really good summer fodder because we're headed into summer where uh, Guga Nation understands that if you don't like the Braves, the Mets, or golf, it's going to be a problem for you. I, uh, Let's I follow, get a lot of conversation. I followed Brandel Chambly for about an hour at the Players last year, uh, so he posted a four on that hole, and, uh, and then we moved on. A four on what hole? Oh, for the one hole that he played forever? For an hour. You think? Oh, you no, mean not Brandel Chambly. You mean DeChambeau. <laughs> The him too. That's what the slow guy. Me. Yeah, because Randall Chambly, I'm thinking, hmm, you followed him around the Golf Channel trailer? Yes. Uh, what exactly? I stalked him. Uh, did we do? So the Braves lose out in the uh, race for Josh Donaldson. You don't have a dog in the fight, and I, you're also a, I, I, what I consider a well informed uh, baseball fan. So, you, uh, what, I mean, what do you think the impact of it versus Dan, who's always going to take some, you know, just well, crazy, ironic, anti Brave? I think you know, the Braves stance. are probably. Still a premium lineup, but it does it does weaken their lineup. Sure, you know. What about if, okay outside of like right now the lineup's weaker? You can't argue that if you lose thirty seven homers, you know right. ninety four RBIs. I'm talking about a thirty four year old baseball player who I don't, I don't two of the last three years has been injured. I don't think it significantly makes the Braves less of a team. Well, Vegas, I think they're, Vegas has them at 92 for the over-under. I don't think it moved with the Donaldson news. Probably not. And, and, and I do think the Braves are going to go get Castellanos or Azuna. I don't well, think they're going to sit still. I, their, their GM has talked about, in fact, there was talk at one point that if they got Donaldson, they might still get Azuna or Castellanos. Well, and I, I really think, because Castellanos, to, at this point, 
He's well, really good for you, right? He's good, but he's a terrible third baseman. Uh, he'd have to play the outfield. He is an awful third baseman. Well, the, it, it, uh, it would be him in the outfield. Yeah. Ozean and him would be in the outfield, and it would be putting Camargo or right. Riley at third. Uh, I really think now that Bryant uh, has signed, he's avoided arbitration, uh, the decision on his service time is expected in the next week to 10 days. Mm-hmm. I think that will clear the decks. I think a trade is coming, and I would put your guys at least in one of the inside lanes, if not... If they want to get him. That's leader. also a risk, because you don't know how long you're going yeah. to have him. I mean, you may have him for a year. And if you trade, which, look, it's not like signing... Like Josh Donaldson, they only had him for a year. Right. But you know what? They didn't give up, you know, Drew Waters and Kyle Wright to get him. They didn't... That's the one thing they're trading for Brian. Brian is not going to sign an extension with your club before testing the market. He's a Scott Boris client... He's going to do just like Bryce yeah. Harper and all of Scott Boris's clients. He's going to hit the market. He's going to listen to everyone's offer, and then he's going to make a decision. And if you don't, and if you're uncomfortable signing Josh Donaldson to 23 million a year, wait till uh, Bryant wants 29 right. or 30. Right, because that's what he's going to want. He's going to want that deal, kind of like what uh, he's going to want Rendon's deal. He just got. He's going to want that. Um, let's see. Howard writes in, can we get the Waffle House Challenge on the next Dime Bet Wheel of Consequence? I don't know what the Waffle House Challenge is, do you? I, I've heard it's like a gluttonous, you know, you're going to vomit type challenge. So yeah, I'm not vomiting. I'm, 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 I'm the, I'm the guy gonna, spinning next, not once, but twice. So much we vomit. After my ridiculously poor five-pack showing, I apologize rough, to the goons. If you rough. lost money, all I can do is tell you that I'm going to nah, I'm gonna completely, I'm not going to go shot Con and deal. keep things like they are. I'm going to go through some serious introspection this off season. I'm going to, while I'm in Vegas, in fact, I'm going to take a handicapper's course. Hang on. When we're out there Not for the, well, yeah, when we're out there for the for the draft. So I can only. Pro- I'm not going to make any bold post or predictions or offer to spin the wheel or give odds on the fact that I'm going to whack Hick next year. I can only tell you that I am going to completely refocus on a job that I let everyone down and lost them money this year. And I, I don't take kindly to that through the years. I will remind folks that if you had totaled them all up, we're still way ahead, but that doesn't change the okay. fact we take pride in the fact that back. this year was um, you know what they call that, Guggins? A joke. A vow. It's a vow. Jeff has made a vow. That's right. That's a vow. And Jeff also vows to not be here the next two days. So that's right. I'm off. Enjoy your uh, time You know, off. people ask me why you're off. And I said, you know why? Because I'm sick of working. That's fair. That's why. I'm not That's going fair. anywhere. I'm not doing anything. I have not been off, you know, except for our one day at Thanksgiving or since my went to the mountains for golf in July. I need a couple of days. Uh, so and then, know, by the way, March, you can burn another week. And then June is going to be another. And July, another. And then I'm still going to have two. So good luck in the main event tonight. I'll play that. Come uh, on out and see us and play. It's a lot of fun. It's only 110 bucks. if you know anything about poker. If you like watching it on TV, you'll have fun with us. Come play. Come out Sunday to uh, 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 Gators Dockside. Oh, y'all need to remind me of that one, too. Sunday for the AFC and NFC Championship games. Are uh, you, Hicken, and I have the same shift? Are you getting I don't there know. early? Because uh, I'm getting there. I told him, right. What time does the game start? I'm, I'm going uh, three, 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 five. Yeah, I'm three going for like the second half of game one. I'll be there at 3 o'clock, right off the get-go. You can come come buy me a beer. Me and the Petite are going to uh, uh, watch the second half of the AFC title game and have dinner oh. and boo those dirty, dreaded Tennessee Titans. Oh. Boo Titans. Well, good for you. Uh, so we'll see you at uh, Gators Dockside, and, and I'll uh, see, we'll see the, Jeff. At the best bet main event tonight. You know, because I'm not – it, it dawns on me because I'm not – I have worked every single morning after every main event I've ever played. Correct. Which often guides my strategy when it gets yeah. to be about 9 o'clock. i got to go big or go home. I'm not going to sit here until 1230 and picture. not cash anything and get no sleep. Correct. Well, tonight I don't have to worry about tonight that. I'll, I'll have no excuses. Go hard in the paint. Hmm. Put on your mirrored sunglasses and like on it. your headphones. We did a bad job of holding the audience today. It's all right. That disturbs me. As soon as we started just plugging things, they're like, we're out of here. Yeah. It's commercial time. <laughs> Goodbye, Googans. We'll see you tomorrow.